Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. I am bringing y'all the Jordan Poole build video as well as the face scan tutorial as promised. So without further ado, I'm not wasting y'all's time. Let's get into it. So first things first, we're going position point guard, right handedness and jersey number three. Obviously the right hand and the jersey number do not matter, but we're making a Jordan Poole build. So why not? Now for the body settings, we're going to go up to 200 pounds. We're going to take the wingspan up to six, nine, and the body type does not matter. I usually go compact, but you guys can do whatever you want. Now one of the attributes, first things first, if you know anything about me, I am the layup king, bro. If you guys come from my TikTok, you know I made my platform off of hitting those crazy tough layups. So we're giving ourselves an 84 driving layup. That's gonna give us the gold acrobat. From personal experience, I believe the difference between gold and silver acrobat is huge. But uh, yeah, go 84 driving layup. You're gonna be hitting crazy, crazy shots under the rim. We're also gonna go 84 driving dunk. That's gonna allow us to get the contact dunks as well on this build. And that is all we're gonna touch on the finishing side of things. Next for the three point shot, we're gonna take that all the way up to 92 because we like to be hidden from the logo. And 92 three pointer is gonna give us like gold limitless range. It's gonna give us all gold tier three badges. Our free throw, we're gonna go ahead and bring up to 80, spoiler alert. But yeah, the 92 three pointer is gonna have you shooting from literally anywhere inside of half court. We're gonna leave the midi at 77. And just like that, we already have a build that is a threat to score from anywhere inside half court. For the playmaking, we're gonna take our ball handle all the way up to a 94, cause that's gonna give us that gold handles for days. And the difference between gold handles for days and silver handles for days, just like Agrabat, is huge in my opinion. You're gonna be able to dribble without being tired, as long as you stay within those adrenaline boosts. Also having a high ball handle this year, especially with how plucks are, is usually ideal. We're also gonna put the pass accuracy up to 80, so we can get all the pass outs and throw quick passes. Speed with ball, we are gonna put up to an 89 to get that extra playmaking badge. And it's gonna have us moving quickly with the ball. Now I'm gonna show you guys essentially how to cheat this build. So we're gonna skip the defense kind of, go down and put your speed up to a 90. You guys need to be defending with your right trigger, not your left trigger. Stop holding left trigger and sliding. Only use left trigger when someone starts to drive on you. When they're going left and right, stay using the right trigger. Now we're gonna also put our acceleration up to an 85. That's gonna go up to an 89 since we have gym rat. Put our strength up to a 70. That way we don't get blown by. That's gonna help us make up for our lack of perimeter defense. As long as you're moving laterally with them, people are not gonna turn the corner on you. They're not gonna blow by you because you got that 70 strength. Most builds, especially perimeter builds, do not have that. So just make sure when you're moving laterally on defense, staying in front of your man, you're using the right trigger to sprint and just be light with your L stick. Just be light with your L stick. And trust me, do not use the left trigger to play defense until they start to drive on you. That will help you body them up. As far as vertical, we're gonna go 75. That's gonna unlock those contact dunks all the way. Stamina, we are gonna take that up to 95 because the last four will be given to us with the gym rat badge. Now with one, two, or three attribute points left, I just kind of depending on where you put them. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put them. You could up your free throw a little bit more. I just gave myself like one more block, I believe. It doesn't really matter. Um, obviously this build is not gonna be getting chased down blocks or snatch, snatch blocks, anything like that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys like that, but uh, yeah, as long on as far as perimeter defense goes, with the speed and the strength this build has, you're gonna be fine on defense. I just ended up giving myself the extra block. If you guys wanna go free throw, another strength, another vertical, whatever, uh, be my guess, it does not matter whatsoever. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap things up for the build side of things. I'm gonna show you guys what takeovers I used here. I always go limitless range as my primary takeover because it makes it feel like logo threes are just like a regular three pointer. And lately I've been running pull up precision. You can do whatever you want, but fading from the logo has been pretty satisfying lately, I guess. So uh, yeah, as far as build comparisons, we're gonna get Kenny Smith, Damian Lillard and Darius Garland. We're gonna get a three point shot creator as far as the build name. Obviously there is a build name glitch out there. I'm sure you guys know about. Uh, so yeah, you guys can do that if you want, but now I'm gonna let the face scan tutorial play. I'm not gonna talk till the end of the video. So uh, yeah, you guys enjoy.
that is going to wrap things up for the video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. Hopefully, the tutorials helped you out, answered some questions for y'all. Uh, but yeah, please consider liking and subscribing. Go run up to TikTok. We just hit like 13.3K. So grateful for y'all. God bless. I'll see you in the next one.